Morning everyone, now that breakfast is out of the way, it's time to crack on with another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can create a Facebook ad from start to finish. The video is perfect for people that haven't ever used Facebook ads before and they're just interested in how to learn about it, but it's also good for people that just want a little bit of a refresher. I'm gonna go through all of the basic steps, step by step. I've personally managed advert campaigns that have had budgets into the thousands of pounds, if not tens of thousands of pounds, and I've achieved great results off of those. It was definitely a long process to get there, and I've learned a lot of mistakes over the way, but now I feel like I've really perfected my strategy with Facebook ads, that you definitely couldn't have a better person to teach you this stuff. So after you finish watching this video, you'll have all of the tools you need to create your very own Facebook ads that can start achieving results for your business. And remember, if you like what you see in the video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm just starting out in this process and it really means a lot to get all of the support that I can get. But that's enough chit chat, now it's time to dive straight into Facebook. Okay, so now that we've logged into Facebook, the first place we need to go is right to the top here where it says create. Then when you select that option, you can see there's a few different things you can create. We're obviously only interested in Facebook ads, so I'm going to hover down here and create an ad. So if you've not already created a Facebook ad account, there will be a section before this where you've just got to provide Facebook with a few details. But if you have created that account, and once you have created that account, you'll be taken to this section here. So first things first, you'll see here you're presented with a load of different options that are all to do with what your marketing objective is for this campaign. So I'm not gonna go through all of these because if you do hover over them and you see the letter I, it gives you a really nice, concise description about what that ad is and why you would potentially use it. So for the purpose of this ad, we're gonna be working as an accountancy firm and we want to drive more traffic to our website during a busy period where we're looking at doing tax returns. So I'll select traffic here, scroll down, and then I'm given the option to make a campaign. So for this, we'll call it tax return traffic. And that just keeps it nice and neat in our ads manager so we can quite easily identify this as our tax return campaign. So now we're ready to start looking at creating our ad in more detail. So first thing up here, you can see there's the option to create an ad set name. So what you have is we have a tax return campaign here. And if we wanted to, we could create multiple different ads underneath that campaign. So it could be that we'll have different ads that might use different creative or they might target different people. And for that, we'll create a different ad set. So next you scroll down to audiences. And the first section here, you'll see there's an option to add in a custom audience. Now this could be an audience that you might have created previously within Facebook ads and you've saved it and you want to use it again in this ad. Or it could be that you have the Facebook pixel installed on your website and you want to target people that have visited your website over the past 30 days. So for the purpose of this, we don't really have a custom audience. We're starting from scratch and treating it like this is your first ever time in Facebook ads. So the accountancy firm that I've got for the purposes of this tutorial, they don't serve the entire United Kingdom. They're just a small local firm. So targeting the whole UK in our ad here doesn't make much sense. So what we can do is we can just delete out the UK and we can choose somewhere that's a little bit more regional for us. So this firm is based in Watford in the United Kingdom. I can then tweak the audience location based on how far I want them from Watford. Do I want them to be just from people in Watford or do I want a certain mileage radius here? And you can just keep playing with this. So for this, we'll stick it at the 40 kilometers. That's probably about right. And one thing to mention at this point is on the right hand side here, you'll see that it's giving me an audience size. So this audience size is based on my current targeting over here how many people fall under that on Facebook potentially. And you'll see at the moment we're at about 9 million people. So we need to get a bit more granular with our targeting to make sure that this ad is really relevant because there's probably not 9 million people right now that need an accountant to do a tax return. So we'll scroll down here. And the next option we've got is we can tweak the age. So for this firm, we're thinking we specialize in a certain area and people that are 18 years old probably don't need a tax return. So for the purposes of this, we'll just target people that are aged 30 to 55. And you'll see on the right hand side how that has also changed my audience size again. It's almost halved it just by tweaking the ages there. You'll also be able to tweak by genders. 
For this, we're targeting both men and women. So next up is where we can get really granular. We can do a lot more detailed targeting and we can talk about things like people's different demographics and their interests. So for people that are self-employed, we could start with thinking, have they got some sort of interest in business? So if we type in business, that comes up as an interest. And if I selected business, that again tweaks my audience. And now I'm targeting people that live within 40 kilometers of Watford, they're aged between 30 and 55, and they have an interest in business. I'm starting to build a profile. We might also be able to look at their job titles. So it could be that somebody that I'm targeting might have the job title of self-employed. So as we do that, you can see here, you've got self-employed job title, as self-employed as the employers, field of studies, but for this, self-employed job titles. And we could spend time getting more granular with this, but for the purposes of this, I think we've got a nice broad enough audience, but also targeted enough. So next we get to the placements of our ad. So you can click here on manual placements and you can tell Facebook exactly where you want your ad to be displayed and also where you don't want your ad to be displayed. Now we come down to the key bit, the budget. So what's great about Facebook ads is there really is no minimum spend. You can work with as small a budget as you need or as large a budget as you need. One thing to just pay attention to is as you tweak your budget over here and also the duration of your campaign, your estimated daily results are gonna change. So just work with your budget and have a look here at what you're expected to achieve. So for this campaign, we're just gonna say, we want to run it for a week. So from the 23rd of February if I could get my weeks right, that'd be great, to the 1st of March. And the budget, that's a bit too rich for my blood. We're gonna say $200. So I'm gonna spend $200 in a week and the estimated results over here, you can see uh, five and a half thousand as my minimum reach and I could always get up to about 16,000 reach. And that should also drive between like 88 and 255 clicks throughs to my website. So that's not bad when you think about it. For $200, we could be driving over 200 visits to our website. So now that we've set our budget, we've targeted our audience, we can click through here and we can go and start creating our ad. So now what happens here is you can see up the top, we've got our identity. So this is where you link a Facebook page and also if you want an Instagram account to your ad. Next, we come down to our ad format and you'll see there's a few different options here. They're all really self-explanatory. And for this, we're just gonna choose a single image or a video as our ad. So one thing to bear in mind here is that Facebook actually has certain requirements for your image. So make sure you click here on your image specs or if you're doing a video, the video specs, just to double check exactly what Facebook's requirements are for your ad. If you don't create your ad according to Facebook specs, you could well see that things appear blurred or certain parts of your image are chopped off. And we obviously don't want that. So just make sure you double check here. But this is where it's really simple. Simply we just click add media and upload our Facebook ad. So now you'll see we've got our Facebook ad image uploaded. It's just sitting over here on the right hand side. You'll see I've poked a bit of fun with this and I've sparked an emotion, the frustration people feel when they don't have their tax return completed on time and they leave it to the last minute. What you want to do with your ads, you always want to try and spark some kind of emotion and really make people resonate with your ads. If you do that, they're gonna be far more likely to click on them and perform any other desired actions that you may have. So on the right hand side here, we've got our ad and we've got all of these different options here. And this essentially just allows you to test what your ad would look like in various situations. So at the moment, we're previewing our ad as if we were in a mobile news feed. But if we click here, we can go and see what it looks like on a desktop feed. It might look even different on instant articles. So all of these little things just allow you to get a real feel for what your ad will look like in various situations. But now we just need to add in some text in the various areas that you see here. So I'll just put some stuff in for now. Okay, so you'll now see that we've got text populated here and a few things just to pay attention of. You've got a few different areas where you enter your text. First, we have the primary text here and you'll see I've just opted for, it's not too late, we're here to take away that tax return burden. So again, I've highlighted a problem and I've provided a solution to the customer. 
and that appears really prominently at the top of your advert here. Next you have what is considered the headline and that's in bold down here. So I've opted for award-winning accountant. So straight away, somebody's read my ad, they can see I can provide a solution to their problem. And they can also see that I'm a reputable company, I'm an award-winning accountant. You're not gonna be a bad accountant if you've won awards. And then finally, we've got the description. And here I've just put, we'll complete a tax return in under 48 hours. So all of a sudden, we've got some real key pieces of information here. You've got your main image where you can add a little bit of text, no more than 20%. And we've also got these other different places here. And what I like to do is just use every space possible just to fill in all of my key messages and make people want to perform those desired actions. We can scroll down here and if we wanted to, if this was an international ad, we could add different languages. And, if, and finally, this is where you would make sure you added your Facebook pixel. So if you wanted to track conversions and in this sort of situation, we definitely would want to do that. We'd want to track how many people have clicked through from this ad and gone to the website and either bought this accountancy service online or completed a contact form where it's up to the accountant to get back to them. Now, this is just a test ad account I have, so I don't actually have the Facebook pixel set up on here. But once you've got your Facebook pixel set up, you just have to toggle it here and then it would all work as you'd like. But really, that's it. Now what we need to do is just click confirm. I'm not going to on this one, obviously, but literally all you've got to do is click confirm and then your advert should be live in a matter of moments. If you've liked the video today, please don't forget to give it that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate all the support I can get on this channel. As you can see, I'm still in the early stages, so every subscriber I can get really does genuinely mean the world to me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.